up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Hello, students. Today we are going to study Mathematics Part 1 of Standard 10, Chapter Number 2, Quadratic Equation. Let us see different methods of solving quadratic equation. There are three different methods we have for solving quadratic equation. First one is factorization method. Second one, completing square method. And the third one is formula method. In this video, we are going to study the first method that is factorization method. For understanding factorization method, we will solve sum from practice set 2.2. Main question is solve the following quadratic equation by factorization method. Sum number 1 x square minus 15x plus 54 equals to 0. Whenever we start with factorization method, first thing we have to see whether the equation is there in the standard form or not. If not, we will arrange it first in the standard form. Here, let us see the equation x square minus 15x plus 54 equals to 0 is already in a standard form. If it is in a standard form, what we will do, we will take its quadratic term and the constant value and we will multiply. In this sum, quadratic term is x square and constant term is plus 54. After multiplying these two terms, we will get plus 54 x square. Now, this plus 54 x square, we have to split it into two parts in such a way that two conditions we have to understand. We are looking for two numbers whom we multiply it should be 54x square and when we add it should be 15x. So let us find out those two numbers. Those two numbers are 9x and 6x. When we multiply this 9x into 6x we get 54x square and when we add we get 15x. What we try to do always the greater value we write first and then the smaller value in this sum 9x is the greater value what we had written first and the smaller value 6x we had written afterwards now let us decide about its sign sign for 9x and 6x the sign of 9x will be taken from the linear terms sign in this sum the sign of linear term is minus which will be given to 9x so it will become minus 9x and for deciding the sign of 6x, we will take the value of plus 54x square. Sign of this value is plus, which indicates us both the value 9x as well as 6x should have same sign. Already the sign of 9x is decided, that is minus. Same minus sign will be given to 6x. And now let us begin with the solution. Solutions first line x square minus 15x plus 54 equals to 0. Now the linear term minus 15x will be substituted by 9x and 6x. It will be written as therefore x square minus 9x minus 6x plus 54 equals to 0. Now three term we had split it into four terms. Let us see the first and the second term x square minus 9x. Common we have to find out here between x square and minus 9x, we can see a common is x. We will take common x and the uncommon values will be written in a bracket. In the same way, the third term and the fourth term, which is minus 6x plus 54, we will try to take the common and the common will be minus 6. Will be written outside the bracket and the rest of the values will be written inside the bracket. Let us see how to write that. It will be written as x into x minus 9 minus 6 into x minus 9 equals to 0. You will see both the brackets are having same value that is x minus 9. Again can be taken it as a common and the outer value x and minus 6 will be written in the separate bracket. It will be written as x minus 9 into x minus 6 equals to 0. Now bracket means multiplication. In short what is written here a bracket multiply by bracket equals to 0. It means either our first bracket or the second bracket will be 0 which will be written as x minus 9 equals to 0 
or x minus 6 equals to 0. We have to find out the root of the equation means we have to find out the value of the variable. Now let us keep that variable on the left hand side and all the remaining values on the right hand side. Then we will get it as x equals to 9 and x equals to 6 means the root of the given equation is 9 and 6. Let us start with the second sum x square plus x minus 20 equals to 0. Let us write the solution x square plus x minus 20 equals to 0. When we multiply the quadratic term and the constant in this sum, we will get minus 20 x square. Again, we will split it into two part in such a way that when we multiply those numbers, we will get 20 x square. And when we subtract, we should get 1 x. So those numbers are 5 x and 4 x. When we multiply these two numbers, we will get 20 x square. And when we will subtract, we will get 1 x. The sign of 5 x will be taken from the linear term. In this sum, it is plus sign. And above, sign of 20 is negative, which indicates us both the values should have opposite sign. So already for 5, we had given positive sign. Automatically, that 4 will become negative. Now we will substitute this value in our equation, which can be written as therefore x square plus 5x minus 4x minus 20 equals to 0. Again, we will try to take a common. Common will be x and uncommon will be x plus 5 minus 4 into x plus 5. Again, both the brackets are same, which will be written in one of the bracket x plus 5 and in the other bracket, the outer value x minus 4 equals to 0. Again, we will split them into two separate parts means it will be written as x plus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. Again, the constant value will be shifted on the other side. It will be written as x equals to minus 5 or x equals to 4. Means final answer will be minus 5, 4 are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Sum number 3, 2y square plus 27y plus 13 equals to 0. When we observe this equation, this equation is given in the standard form. Then what we will do? We will take the quadratic term and the constant value and we will multiply. Here after multiplying those two terms, we will get plus 26y square. Let us split this 26y square into two parts such that after multiplying those numbers, we should get 26y square and after adding it should be 27y. Those numbers are 26y and y. After multiplying this, we can get 26y square and after adding, we will get 27y. Let us decide about their sign. 26y will get the sign of a linear term. In this sum, it will become plus 26y. And the y will get the sign decided by the above value. Above value has a positive sign. Means both the numbers should have same sign. Here it will get positive sign. Let us start with the solution. Solution 2y square plus 27y plus 13 equals to 0. Let us split the middle term and it will be written as 2y square plus 26y plus y plus 13 equals to 0. Let us take the common from the first two and the last two term. It will be 2y into y plus 13 plus 1 into y plus 13 equals to 0. Both the brackets are again common will be written once y plus 13 into 2y plus 1 equals to 0. It means either the first bracket equals to 0 or the second bracket will be equals to 0 which can be written as y plus 13 equals to 0 or 2y plus 1 equals to 0. Plus 13 and my plus 1 will be shifted on the other side. It will become y equals to minus 13 or 2y equals to minus 1. Again 2 will be shifted to the right hand side. It will become y equals to minus 1 upon 2. Therefore the final answer what we got that is minus 13 or minus 1 upon 2 are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Sum number 4. 5m square equals to 22m plus 15. When we observe this equation, this equation is not given in the standard form. First thing what we will do? We will arrange this equation in a standard form. Let us start with the solution. 5m square equals to 22m plus 15. After arranging it in a standard form, it will be written as 5m square minus 22m minus 15 equals to 0. Now let us multiply the quadratic term and the constant value. Here after multiplying we will get minus 75m square. We have to split this into two part in such a way that after multiplying those numbers we should get 75m square and after subtraction we should get 
22m. Those numbers are 25m and 3m. After multiplying this, we will get 75m square and after subtracting, we will get 22m. Now let us decide about their sign. The greater value 25m will get the sign of a linear term. In this sum, the sign of the linear term is negative, means it will get a negative sign, which will be written as minus 25m. Now the sign of 3m will be decided with the sign of above value, which is minus 75m square. Sign is minus, which indicates both the values should have opposite sign. 25 is having a negative sign. Therefore, sign of negative is positive will be given to 3m. Now let us split it and write. The next line will become 5m square minus 25m plus 3m minus 15 equals to 0. Let us take the common from the first two and the last two term. It will be written as 5m into m minus 5 plus 3 into m minus 5 equals to 0. Again, both the brackets are common, will be written once m minus 5 equals to 0 or 5m plus 3 equals to 0. The constant value will be shifted to the right hand side. It will be written as m equals to 5 or 5m equals to minus 3. Again, 5 will be shifted on the right hand side. It will be written as m equals to minus 3 upon 5. Therefore, our final answer will be written as 5 or minus 3 upon 5 are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Sum number 5, 2x square minus 2x plus 1 upon 2 equals to 0. Here when we observe the equation, at the place of denominator, they had given 2. What we will first try to remove. So let us start with the solution. 2x square minus 2x plus 1 upon 2 equals to 0. For removing that 2 from the denominator, we have to do multiplying throughout by 2. We will write, multiplying the above equation by 2, we get, what we will get? We will get 4x square minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. After removing the denominator, let us see whether the equation is there in the standard form. Yes, the given equation is there in the standard form. What we will do? We will multiply the quadratic term and the constant value. After multiplying the quadratic term and the constant value, here we will get plus 4x square. We will split this plus 4x square into two part in such a way that after multiplying those value, it should be 4x square and after adding it should be 4x. So those numbers are 2x and 2x. When we multiply 2x into 2x, we get 4x square. And when we add, we get 4x. Let us decide the sign. 2x will get the sign of a linear term. In this sum, the sign of the linear term is negative. We will get negative, means we will get minus 2x. And the sign of the other 2x will be decided with the above value. Above value is plus 4x square. That plus indicates us both the values should have same sign. So here this 2x will also have a same sign which will be negative minus 2x. Let us split the middle term and we write. It will be written as 4x square minus 2x minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Let us take the common from the first two and the last two term. It will be written as 2x into x minus 1 minus 1 into 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Both the brackets are common, will be written once. 2x minus 1 into 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Either the first bracket or the second bracket will be equals to 0, which will be further written as 2x minus 1 equals to 0 or 2x minus 1 equals to 0. From both the equation, minus 1 will be shifted to the right hand side and it will be written as 2x equals to 1 or 2x equals to 1. Again, from both the equation, 2 will be shifted on the right hand side and will be written as x equals to 1 upon 2 or x equals to 1 upon 2. Therefore, our final answer will be written as 1 upon 2 or 1 upon 2 are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Sum number 6. 6x minus 2 upon x equals to 1. Again here, in the place of denominator, they had given x. So first we will try to remove that denominator x. Let us begin with the solution. 6x minus 2 upon x equals to 1. We will do multiplying the above equation by x. We get 6x square minus 2 equals to x. This equation is not given in the standard form. So let us arrange and we will write it in a standard form. 
it will be written as 6x square minus x minus 2 equals to 0. Now after making it in a standard form, again we will multiply the quadratic term and the constant value. Here after multiplying we will get minus 12x square. Let us split it into two parts in such a way that the number if we multiply it should be 12x square and when we subtract it should be x. Those numbers are 4x and 3x. Let us decide the sign of the greater value that is 4x. We will get the sign of a linear term. Here the sign of the linear term is negative. Therefore it will be written as minus 4x. And 3x will get the sign deciding by the above value. Above value is having a negative sign which indicates the values should have opposite sign. So here 3x will get a sign of positive and will be written as 6x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Let us try to take the common from first two and the last two terms which can be written as 2x into 3x minus 2 plus 1 into 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Both the brackets are same can be written once and the next line can be written as 2x plus 1 into 3x minus 2 equals to 0. We will write either the first bracket is equals to 0 or the second bracket will be equals to 0. Let us shift the constant value on the right hand side plus 1 from the first equation and minus 2 from the second equation. Then it will be written as 2x equals to minus 1 or 3x equals to 2. Now 2 from the first equation and 3 from the second equation will be shifted to the right hand side and it will be written as x equals to minus 1 upon 2 or x equals to 2 upon 3. Therefore our final answer will be minus 1 upon 2 or 2 upon 3 are the roots of the given quadratic equation. In this video we did 2.2 sum number 1 to 6. In the next video we will do the remaining sum of practice set 2.2. I hope you all had understood the sum what we had covered in this video. Thank you.